în perioada sărbătorilor se vorbește foarte mult despre bunătate. De fiecare dată spunem că ar trebui să păstrăm acest obicei și în restul timpului, mai ales că nu e foarte complicat. Însă găsim scuze, abandonăm repede promisiunea, punem orgoliile mai presus de orice și uităm că până la urmă umanitatea este despre noi toți împreună. La ediția de Crăciun respectăm o tradiție pe care am lansat-o în urmă cu trei ani. Invitații mei sunt Gerd Bumar, diplomat austriac, și Jacob Hausmann, șef elvețian. Discutăm împreună despre puterea de a fi bun un an întreg. Sunt Cristina Cileacu, începe pașaport diplomatic. a third edition in uh, the same uh, company uh, together with Gerd Boomer, Austrian uh, diplomat and Jakob Hausmann, Swiss chef. Welcome for the third time at uh, Christmas edition Diplomatic Passport. Thank you very much, Christina. It's a pleasure being here again with you. For me, it's a big honor eh, to be in the same condition. First of all, show me I'm not such a bad cook because Austria take me again. And of course, with a, such a nice friend and with you, Christina, it's a big, big pleasure for me to be invi invited for the third edition. If somebody takes the uh, archives of the program, we'll discover that edition number one was actually Gerd's idea, and we did talk about how to have a sustainable way of uh, doing holidays. The second ad edition was my idea. I asked you both to prepare pancake soup, was something unknown in Romania. And the third edition is Jacob's idea. Uh, so please, Jacob, tell us why did you bring us in this kitchen and what are we about to do? This kitchen is a kitchen of a very good friend of me from a catering company here in Romania. And the idea is what I do many years, 10, 15 times per year, to cook for poor people, homeless people, for family what don't have the chance to have a big Christmas time. And for this I ask Gerd, he's involved with me together in this project. We cook for an Austria company, uh, what make for poor people a uh, warehouse, shopping house, and we go tomorrow there to give for 400, over 400 people food. Is it difficult to be good for an entire year? This is the topic of, of our program today because now it's Christmas time, everyone is good. Everyone make it, uh, is behaving kind and, uh, and so on. But how is it to be good for the 365 days? Well, I guess we're all human beings. We all have our ups and downs. We have our good times, our bad times. Uh, but uh, I think Christmas is a very good time where we can get into our positive mood again, positive spirit and kind of let the, the last year pass by in your mind, uh, think about what has been good, what has been bad, and then try either to fail better if you failed or just to go in a good direction and to be a good person. And Jakob, what is the best lesson you've learned during this uh, period? In the whole 15 years or in the last two, three years? Well, your, your choice. <laughs> okay, the last two, three years learned me a lot of things, what is even positive and something I take the positive part out, of course. In these 15 years when I do this with the gastronomy in Romania, I learn a lot of things. Because it's another mentality, it's another consume, and I try with my know-how what I have to make a very nice combination. And this for the homeless to cook, it's a lesson for me to help with the soul. Not just with food, the soul and everything like this. And we have luck also for these ingredients what we have here on the table. It's a Swiss company in the back with a Romanian company what help us because you know that nothing is gratis, everything costs money. And this is what gives me also a lesson. In the time, the people are coming closer. They help each other with more soul. Not just on profit, they really help because we are coming closer together. This is my lesson. And what about you, Gerd? Uh, for me, I guess the important thing is, and that's what I've seen over the past few years for myself, is if you do direct, if you help people directly, 
you know where it goes to, you know that you help the right people and we're going to meet them tomorrow so we know that what we're doing here isn't only good but it is addressed and it's going to arrive at the right people and uh, we can then look into the faces of those people and we see that the people smile and that there's going to be you know, a positive uh, uh, vibe, a positive atmosphere when we give out the food and uh, it's also good for us. I think that Jakob is uh, start cooking, so Jakob, what are you actually preparing there? Uh, this is an old recipe like what we have in Switzerland to the Armada. The name is Spatz. This is a cooking in one portion, have everything inside what we need. This is vegetables we have inside, we have pasta, kartoffel inside, we have meat inside, we have some ingredients inside, herbs inside. What it's a complete meal, let's tell when you eat 300 milliliter, 300 gram of this meal, you're really full. This is how we do all the time when we was out to the city, when we was out on the street, we make this 10, 15 times with my equip together. Now in the pandemic without restaurant and with restriction, we cannot do it. And this is now the first time when we do this and I'm very happy I can do this with Gerd together because we have the same idea of life. He is a little younger, he is more action. I'm a little older, I'm a little quiet, but the combination is amazing. Gerd, uh, because you are a diplomat and uh, I already asked uh, uh, Jakob the lessons of uh, his life in, uh, as a chef. Diplomacy is usually not for friends, but you befriended a lot of Romanians during your staying here and also you brought a lot of Austrian investments because we have to say you are an Austrian diplomat in Romania. How is this feeling now with the problems between our countries that we will hope it will pass? Yeah, I, I hope that I made a lot of friends in Romania. I hope that it's still that way. Um, we definitely have a positive uh, attitude towards Romania and we think that Europe can only work if we're all one and uh, this is what we're definitely heading for. But in the, in the end, uh, making good friends, I also met Jakob as one of my friends and I'm happy that I met him here. And uh, from last year's edition, when we both cooked different soups, I, had, I learned that I need uh, more training from his side. <laughs> we are still working on this. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I learned that I'm not the best chef. But I'm on the way and I'm assisting here and I guess as Jakob's assistant um, I can do a, a good meal as well together with him. Of course. Well, uh, as you said, for the last year um, uh, adventure, let's call it like this, uh, you actually learn how to cook. So what are you doing now? Well, this kind of special soup, uh, we put together the ingredients. So he's uh, going for the onion right now. Afterwards, it's uh, celery. I hope it's celery. also celery in English. And uh, we have some paprika, some uh, green peppers, it's called tomatoes. So what I see is that you explain so Jakob is doing all the work. So it's, Yeah, I'm just watching here right now because of, uh, after last year's result when even my mom told me, Gerd, that was not good what you've done there. Um, I had to improve a lot, so I'm now better in watching than in doing. Uh, but as Jakob said, it's a complete meal with all the vitamins, with all the uh, ingredients that you need. And uh, I hope that uh, people are going to be full and happy. Jakob, yeah. what, uh, what you're cooking now, maybe some of the people that are watching us will say that uh, you have to be, I don't know, wealthy, let's say, to, to help others. Is this true? No. Uh, when I do this with my restaurant together, we keep all the time the vegetables what was rest, we frozen them the whole year, and all the time when we make an event like this, we take these products together. This costs not so much money. Example, just for the sponsor, for the company who give us this all food with the meat, with the vegetables, with everything together, it's not even 500 euro. With the block, the food it's approximately 300 euro. I think you don't have to be rich to have one time by year 300 euro to give to 400 families the food. I think this is not a discussion about money. I think you have to be rich in something else, in love for other yes. people, in humanity, and in love for cooking as well. So this is what you have to be rich in and wealthy in. Look for this, you not even have to be a Michelin star cook. This is cooking each of the matter in home. What is here inside? It's oil of sunflower, it's onion. The onion you make a little stick gloss, classy. After you put the strong vegetables inside to give a little color. And after we put the soft vegetables inside, like the artigas, and to the finish, the kartoffel, soup, pasta, and to the finish, finish, because the meat is already cooked, 
because this you must make clean, you have the soup on this, and this is the base after. This is not so complicated. You don't must have a master in art, a culinary title, just to go on the street like this. For me, and this is the most important, and I think this is also the way why we each others understand so good, love, feeling, this is much more important. Yet, because we are in a kitchen, please allow me to share something with our viewers from the kitchen of the program. Uh, being the relationship lately between Austria and Romania, you did uh, ask me if I want to drop this filming. The question for you is, do you think hate ever solves anything? No, I just asked you for that because I think that we still have a positive atmosphere and we're all going to be friends in the long term as well. But I asked you because I don't want to bring anyone into a bad picture, into a bad light. Uh, this is what was a concern for myself. And I told you one thing, the only thing we would have to skip is the cameras because we would have done it anyway because we did it for the people. And as Jakob can continue his uh, long-standing tradition over the years, um, I think this was the positive thing that I wanted to do. I just don't want to put anyone into a, a bad light, bad shape, bad atmosphere. Should yeah, be but, a good atmosphere. But you didn't We're answer going for my Christmas. Yeah, you didn't answer my question. Does hate ever solve anything? Well, I think that we have to positive uh, to be positive with each other, and um, I think only you know positive sides, positive atmosphere will be able to create an a setting where we can solve issues that we have and uh, yeah, emotions are something that are within us as human beings and yes we can be emotional, Austrians can be emotional, Swiss less I guess is it? Uh, but <laughs> Romanians can be emotional. They are this is why. <laughs> <laughs> so and uh, um, because of that we have emotions, emotions are something normal and sometimes they're a bit more further out in the, in the open public and sometimes they're a bit more hidden away. Um, I think Christmas is a time for positive emotions within the family and uh, this is what we too are definitely heading for and this is what we definitely feel. And Jakob, tell me more about the people who will get the food you are preparing today. Uh, the situation is this, we have a very a friend of us many years, Simon, he has a house in Romania, in Bucharest, is making with a old lady to this time Barbara Schöfnagel was also a diplomat and uh, she started to make a magazine, a shop for poor people what have a license to go shopping. We helped there also with some Swiss, Austria, Germany company to make a start of sponsor eyes. I'm very proud to can help in this moment. This is all 15 years ago. It's crazy how the time is running. 15 plus pandemic. I forget all the time the pandemic. And this is a, a shop what people with low, low, low money can go uh, to shop food. It's like in Germany, Austria, this grüne Tafel. Yeah, it's uh, actually it's derived from an Austrian project. So the Austrian project is called Soma in Linz in Austria, in Upper Austria, which is social market, social market. And uh, Somaro obviously is social market Romania, so social market Romania. And uh, what is actually the background of it is that uh, Simon, who is also an Austrian, who came here to set up the project together with uh, the lady, um, gets food that expires within the next one, two days from the supermarkets, uh, from uh, companies producing food stuff. And you can sell that food stuff at very, very low prices to socially vulnerable people. And they get a certificate from the municipality. In that case, we're here in, in Bucharest. We're going to offer everything here in Bucharest. And those people have an ID. They can show that they're allowed to buy and purchase something in the shop. And they get uh, products at very low prices. And tomorrow, also food. <laughs> Help, I think I think I will need help. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> See, I turn around, I talk and it's all gone. Yeah. <laughs> you are quite a quite a chef yourself, yeah. Uh, uh, this is in the kitchen, it's this a professional way how to cook. It's very hard to work with somebody on the left side because you have the program. So now you can help me. So and we have to put this here inside. So. Thank you, Gert. This is, Next this is the, no, no, it's enough. This is the water in what we boiled the meat. And now we have to cut also the meat because the meat is finished. The meat don't have any more to cook. They have just to warm up. So. so now at least I understand why the big spoon. Yes, the big spoon. And now 
Now you can help me get. Yeah. Just to take it the hand and crush it. And crush it. So. so. You can speak with a nice lady. I make the rest. <laughs> Crushing noodles is fun. Yeah, it <laughs> but is. But not that much and, fun. And it sounds uh, crunchy. Yeah. Uh, so for you, is the first time when you uh, actually participate to such a social uh, cooking? Honestly speaking, I guess yes. So this maybe might be derived from my abilities, capabilities, and competences as a chef, which are, as you saw last year, limited. And, uh, but I can at least participate with people who know what they do. So everything will be packed from here and tomorrow you just... Uh... Yes, I was already asking like technically how they're bringing this pot there because this pot is going to be there. Oh, But okay, they have okay. to take the soup out again and transfer okay. the soup in different pots okay. in order to get it there. See, now it's industrial production here. <laughs> Looks like a soup, Looks trust like me. A soup, but how is it? Mm. Mm? You like 15 it? minutes, it's this part already finished. Of course, what we need to keep more is now salt, pepper. We will give some curry inside for the aroma and for the color. But the aroma... The taste is good enough. It's very good. <laughs> and I will be proud tomorrow to give together to the people. And this is a... When we have this project blend, I'm like a small boy. For me, is now after this two and a half year of pause, I'm like a small boy to go to the Christmas to open pack. No, for me, this is, you cannot imagine what fulfilling you open yourself when you give to somebody something and he takes this also with the open heart. This is something special. And this feeling to catch this, not with words, with eyes, this is the smell of sense. It's amazing. He will find out tomorrow. You will see also. Uh, yeah, because we are joining you tomorrow to see how the soup is distributed. So make sure you just didn't make the entire pot just for you two. <laughs> Jakob Gerd, where are we now? Where we are now? In the center in Bucharest, on a market. In the back it's full with market. And here is a magazine for poor people and the soup is ready. We have approximately 150 liters of soup. I saw, I saw Gerd already trying the soup. Yes, it's approved. It's approved? It's a good okay, so, so we've done a good job yesterday, especially. Thank you very much. <laughs> 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 okay, we cooked yesterday, totality approximately seven hours for this event today. I'm very happy we can stay here because here are the people from the sector one what are really poor. They have their own shop here where they can eat, buy food, they can pay clothes. And of course when they come out they have right to take a portion of soup with them because we have enough soup for everybody. So let's see the first customers. Start working please. As I said in the beginning of our filming that started actually yesterday, it's our third Christmas edition in this trio. What do you wish this year for uh, the viewers, for Romanian, Swiss, Austrian and everyone for Christmas? Because it's Christmas time. Well, to feel the Christmas time, to have a warm heart, uh, to have a good time with the family, relax a bit and uh, take some time to reflect as well and come out into the new year with uh, new energy and with more energy. And with a lot of uh, good deeds to be done. And uh, what I want to say is, of course, Krajun Fericici, Sile Linishtite. Asta este bun, Sile Linishte. For me, it's the most important wish for everybody to come back in yourself, to find out what is important for each of them. And for my part, for everybody who is now visit us, Zapato Fericit, Krajun Fericit, La Mulțan, și Mulțanatate. Toate se poate cumpăra, dar sanatate este un cadou de Dumnezeu.
one final question for both of you. Shall yeah. we make edition number four? I think yes. Yes? Yes. It's a promise? We it's a promise and we will find a very nice edition. Doesn't matter we do again in the same way or we make a special menu how we make in our area. We will find we'll, a good edition we'll for number idea. four. Okay, yeah. so it's a promise. So we'll find an idea. Next year. Next whether, year. I'm in, whether I'm in Romania or not, I'm going to come for that. And you have uh, to. You have you to. Have I'll to. get some more training from you for cooking. Yeah, yeah. But uh, this promise. is the training, let's stay staying. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thank you very much, Christina, for to be with us. Thank you as well. And all the data. It was a, was a pleasure being with you. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. Atât pentru astăzi, dar rămânem în continuare online pe pagina de Facebook a emisiunii și pe contul nostru de Twitter. Revenim cu subiecte noi din lumea diplomației și a politicii externe, vinerea viitoare de la 11.30 și reloare sâmbătă după miezul nopții. Sărbători frumoase!